Hey, what's up guys? Gary Walker here with walkerfitmuscle.com and welcome back for another video. In this video, I'm gonna tell you what to eat for mass. Here's the thing, it's part two of another video I shot that shows you the actual macros, calorie breakdown, all of those things. But if you wanna know specifically what you should be eating if your goal is to put on mass, watch this video because this is the video for you. All right guys, before I get into the actual breakdown of the type of foods you should be eating if you want to grow, you want to build mass, I'm gonna ask if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, man, please subscribe to my channel. Also make sure you click on that bell icon, that way you get notified every time I upload a new video. All right, here's the thing. Building mass is hard. Losing weight is hard. There's a lot of the different goals out there that you guys may have that are not gonna be easy. I actually think building mass, building muscle is harder than losing weight. So that's why this video is extremely important for you. If you wanna lose weight, guess what? Eat less and get active. You can move, you can eat a little bit less, stay active all the time, you're gonna lose weight because our bodies don't want fat. Our bodies don't wanna hold on to all this extra fat. So it's constantly trying to dump it. So you have to make a few modifications, you're gonna lose the fat. Here's the thing, your bodies don't necessarily wanna build muscle either. So you're having to force your body to build muscle. You're having to get creative. You're having to eat a certain amount of foods. You've gotta eat in a caloric surplus. You've gotta work out a specific way. You've gotta rest enough. There's a lot of things that you have to do if you really wanna focus on building mass that's gonna be crucial to your success. If you want more of a breakdown, I'm gonna give you the foods. This is part two. The foods that you should really be incorporating into your daily plans to build mass. If you want a macro breakdown, how many calories you should be doing, then make sure you watch my other video that I just posted. I'll link it here with this video because that one will help you set up your plan. This one will give you the foods to plug in to your plan. So they go together. All right, but that being said, let's go into some of the more important foods. The first thing I really want you to focus on is going to be protein, if I can get this to write. All right, protein. And when I'm talking proteins, you want complete proteins. You wanna eat the right types of foods because proteins are the building blocks of muscle. Okay, so you gotta make sure you're eating quality protein. First thing I'm gonna get into before I get into the breakdown is eliminate all the processed crap. I'm not talking about going to McDonald's and getting burgers. I'm not talking about going and getting pizza and calculating that as protein, all right? At the end of the day, you want whole protein sources that are nutrient dense as well. So for protein, there's a lot of different things. I love beef, all right? A lot of people don't eat beef. A lot of people, you know, if you don't eat beef, I'm gonna give you some other sources of protein as well. But if you like red meat, that's one of the best types of protein sources you can get because you're gonna get good protein and you're also gonna get good fats, which we'll cover in a minute. The fats from beef are gonna help raise your testosterone levels, which is key if you're trying to build muscle. You wanna elevate those testosterone levels. If you're eating a lot of processed foods, your body raises estrogen. The more estrogen, the lower the testosterone levels. When you eliminate the processed foods and replace it with all of these whole foods that I'm about to share with you, then you tip the scales. Estrogen comes down, pro, uh, testosterone goes up, which is key for building muscle. All right, so beef is one of the best sources. I typically like the leaner cuts. All right, you don't want the really fatty types of meat. Even if you are a hard gainer, you want the more quality meat, the top sirloin, Okay, there's a lot of good sources of beef. 93.7 lean beef is usually what I recommend, but even if you're doing 90.10, a little bit leaner because you want your protein to be a lot higher than the fat. I want your fats to come from other sources as well. So again, we're gonna touch on that when we get into the fats, but good beef can be the 93.7, the 90.10. It can be steak cuts, all right? Those are really good sources of beef. Also, eggs. Eggs are a good source. All right, here's the thing. A lot of people assume you have to eat chicken and rice and that's it. That's old school bodybuilding, you know, 
methodology. Here's the thing, if you're dieting, you're wanting to lose weight, then eat some rice, eat some chicken, eat some veggies, that's gonna help you lose weight. But when your goal is mass, you wanna make sure you are getting the dense types of foods. So chicken is going to be on here, but eggs, the only reason I said that is because a lot of people assume when they eat eggs, they gotta dump out the egg yolks. Egg yolks, great fats for boosting testosterone levels. So I'm talking whole eggs, not just the egg whites, okay? Egg whites are nothing but protein. When you get the whole eggs, you're getting even more protein, plus you're getting the types of fats that are required for boosting testosterone levels, like I mentioned. All right, so eggs are gonna be great. Yeah, then we'll do the chicken. Chicken is still really good as well. All right, chicken breast, chicken thighs. You can have chicken legs. I mean, all, you want good chicken. Chicken is gonna give you some good protein as well. And also turkey, chicken, turkey, all the poultry is gonna be great. Turkey for me is a little more dry. Uh, if you like the flavor of turkey, you, you like the texture of turkey, then turkey is gonna be great. It's just a little bit more dry for me. But I'm talking, you don't have to just get turkey breast. You can get ground turkey to make turkey tacos. You can make turkey burgers or beef burgers. So again, it's kind of up to you. A lot of the chicken and turkey, and let's put fish here. These are typically what you hear when people are losing weight. They prioritize this, chicken, turkey, and fish. But when you're gaining weight, it's okay to prioritize beef and whole eggs. Those are going to be great. Even milk, if you can tolerate milk, you're gonna get some good calories from milk. If you're not lactose intolerant, if you like milk, then drink a lot of milk as well because that's gonna be a good protein source and fat source. So those are the things I really want you to focus on. But most of your protein can come from here and you're gonna get great results. When it comes to fish, another one that's a really good is salmon, all right? Salmon is one of those that people rarely eat when they're losing weight because it's got a lot of fat, but good fats, all right? Again, I'm telling you, the good fats, when you mix those with the good lean protein, that's a great food for putting on mass. So you can have more when your goal is mass. When you're eating for mass, choose from these. I didn't put milk, but let's put milk over here so you can see all that. So milk, another one, yogurt. Yogurt's got some good protein sources, cottage cheese. So these are all good sources. So beef, eggs, chicken, turkey, fish, salmon being one of the better ones for more calories, milk, cottage cheese, yogurt. These are gonna be great sources of protein when you're really wanting to focus on building. And also, I don't wanna eliminate a supplement, but whey protein. So whey is good, I'll put that all the way up here to the top. If you're doing a whey protein, I like the isolate, all right? Not the concentrate. The bioavailability of the concentrate is a lot lower. You typically crap more of that out. It's even more hard on your digestive system. People that have weak digestive systems, weak stomachs, concentrate is not a really good source. But I love whey protein isolate. It's great bioavailability, it's clean protein. It's a little bit more expensive but if you can't get all of the calories that you want from these, it's okay to supplement with a whey protein isolate. All right, so check all that out. Write it down if you wanna take notes. Take a picture of it on your phone so you'll have it in your phone. But those are gonna be your main protein sources. Okay, so let me eliminate this from my board. Next one is carbohydrates. So carbs are extremely, important. A lot of people, again, in today's society, today's fitness society, they are demonizing carbohydrates, as in don't do carbs, the keto guys. You want complex carbohydrates if your main goal is mass. You want complex carbohydrates regardless because of optimal hormone optimization. But I don't want to get into that video. Basically, if you want to grow, most of your carbohydrates should be complex carbohydrates. You also want fibrous carbohydrates. The thing with fibrous carbohydrates, that's gonna help your digestive system. It's gonna keep you satiated and full. That's why I'm putting those behind complex carbohydrates because again, let's compare the two. If you wanna lose weight, fibrous carbs are better for you because you're gonna stay full. You can't eat a lot of food. 
If you want to gain weight, you don't want as many fibrous carbs because you don't want to feel full all the time. You want to be able to eat in a big calorie surplus. So what are some of the best complex carbohydrates? Rice. When it comes to rice, it's not traditional brown rice. You can do brown rice if you like brown rice. You can do white rice. You can do dirty rice. You can do, my preferred is jasmine rice. I love jasmine rice. That's what I do with most of my meals. But it doesn't really matter. Just get those complex carbohydrates from one of the rice sources. Also, potatoes. Same with the potatoes. It's not just a sweet potato. You can do sweet potatoes. You can do a white potato. You can do a red, yellow potato. Any of those types of potatoes are going to give you great benefits. They're going to help you grow more muscle mass because it's adding to your calorie surplus. All right. These are also going to keep your glycogen levels full. Another one, oatmeal. I like still cut oats, a little bit more cleaner, more, a little bit more cleaner of a oat. I like the still cut. It doesn't really have to be a, a still cut, but try to stay away from the instant oatmeal. All right, more processed, so you're not going to get the same type of benefits. If you can just be patient and cook oats the way they're supposed to be cooked, take time. Don't just stick it in a microwave and think it's going to be great. You're going to get calories, but you're also getting the toxins and chemicals that come along with it. So preferably try to go for regular still cut clean oats. Also beans are good. Lentils, beans, lentils, pasta. If you really struggling to gain weight and you're doing a lot of rice, here's the thing. Rice, it takes a lot of rice to get you the complex carbohydrates that you need as far as overall calories. Pasta is a lot more dense. So I actually like whole grain pasta as opposed to just straight up white pasta. But pasta is one of those. Two little ounces of pasta is like 45 carbohydrates. All right. You can eat a lot of that and that's going to help you bulk up tremendously. So if your goal is just complete mass, it's going to be a lot easier to get carbs from this source than those. That doesn't mean only focus on this. You still want to do some of the others. All right, quinoa is another one. So hopefully you can read that. Quinoa, um, this is a cleaner type of carbohydrate, but rice, any type of rice, potatoes, pretty much any type of potatoes, oatmeal, preferably still cut, beans, lentils, Pasta, I like whole grain. Doesn't have to be whole grain, but it's one I would recommend. And quinoa. Those are gonna be really good sources of complex carbs, okay? So fibrous carbs are basically broccoli, all right? Broccoli, asparagus, cauliflower, all right, broccoli, asparagus, cauliflower, zucchini, green leafy salads, which I really love, green leafy salads. All of those are gonna be fibrous. So you can add those to a few of these meals, but keep in mind, these are more filling. You still want them just to clean out your digestive system. They're basically the nature's broomstick is what they're called. It's gonna clean all that crap out of your digestive system. So that's something you do want to incorporate, but if you do too many of these veggies, then you're not going to be able to do as much of the complex carbs up here or even the protein because you're going to get full. Okay, so that's basically the, the carbs you want. You want good complex carbs and good fibrous carbs, all right? So let me get rid of this. All right, last but not least are your fats, essential fats. Okay, you do want to make sure you are getting really good amounts of fats. Again, I got that other video breaking down exactly how many you need based on where you currently are with your weight, okay? So check that one out after this. But as far as fats, again, people that cut their fats too much, you actually, actually are going to lower your testosterone levels. That's the bad thing about eating lower levels of fats. You want high fats, high testosterone levels. It's got to be the right kinds of fats, so that's the key. Not the trans fats from french fries and those oils, okay, canola oil, vegetable oil. You want to eliminate all that, 
But what you want to do is avocados. Okay, and going back to the eggs, the yolks and the eggs. All right, those are really good. Fats from your beef. Those are gonna be really good fats also. And then nuts. Almonds, Brazilian nuts are one of the better ones with selenium, so that helps elevate testosterone levels. Brazilian nuts, macadamia nuts. Those are really good uh, walnuts. All of those, you can do a mixed version. Choose one or two of those that you like. But nuts are gonna provide the right kinds of fat. Also, some different oils you can do. Oils are really good. Extra virgin olive oil. Extra virgin olive oil. There's even avocado oil. Avocado oils are really good. Coconut oil. The thing about coconut oil, it's a medium chain triglyceride oil. The thing with that is it gives you quick energy. So you can actually use coconut oil to fuel a workout if you needed to. So coconut oil is a good source as well, fish oil. There's even macadamia nut oil. So basically you can do oils, you can cook your meats in the oils or you can use it for a salad dressing, mix it in a salad dressing. Do it some way like that to add more calories. So these fats are more calorie dense than anything. So you can get a lot of your calories from fat. That's gonna help you get into that surplus faster. So these are all gonna be really good sources of fats for putting on mass. So if you combine these with the complex carbs, a few fibrous carbs, and the good protein sources I showed you, then you're gonna be eating the right kinds of foods. Now here's the other thing. Try to make these at home. Make them at home using these oils, using some good seasonings. Do that as opposed to just going out to eat all the time. If you go to a restaurant and think, you know, you're gonna get a chicken sandwich and stuff like that, you're still gonna get the processed foods. The problem with the processed foods is loaded with toxins and chemicals that raise estrogen levels. You don't wanna raise your estrogen levels, man. You gotta focus on optimizing your testosterone levels if you really want to grow. So also make sure you get your H2O, man. You gotta get that water, 80 to 120 ounces of water, about a gallon of water a day. If you can do that, get close to it. You don't have to hit a gallon, but get close to that. Again, all of this is relative. It depends on the type of job you have. If you're outdoors, you're working in a hot, area and you're losing a lot more water, then you wanna make sure you're getting at least a gallon. If you're indoors, you're sedentary, you're cool, you're not using as much water, you still wanna get close to that 80 ounces. You wanna make sure you're getting enough to move all the nutrients in your body, to keep your blood glucose levels where they should be. Do everything to optimize the hormone process in your body, but hopefully this video is gonna help you out. Again, it's gotta be paired with one of the other videos. I've got the other one telling you how to break down your structure. I've also got videos showing you how to work out. So check that as well, how to work out if you're a hard gainer, how to work out if you're trying to gain mass. Put all three of those together. Take notes, man. Take notes or if you don't like writing, then take a picture of this on your computer, wherever you're watching this, on your phone. Take a snapshot of this and record it, do whatever you need to, to make sure you have it there for you so it's convenient. When you're getting your groceries, when you know how to set up your meal plans, you have everything you need. But man, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, let me know. If you have any questions at all about any of this or anything else, then leave that in the comment section. Other than that, that's all I got. Get busy, get after it, and God bless.